प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन ना द लेंथ ऑफ ईच कनेक्टिंग रोड ऑफ अ सिक्सटी डिग्री वी इंजन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज सिक्सटी डिग्री वी इंजन इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट फॉर इफ इफ इट इज अ टू सिलेंडर रेडियल इंजन इट हैज टू बी नाइंटी डिग्री इट कैन बी सिक्सटी डिग्री ऑल्सो एंड मोर प्रैक्टिकल इज सिक्सटी डिग्री यू मे सी इन द बाइक्स लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सी सी बुलेट और हार्ले डेविडसन सी फाइट सिक्सटी डिग्री वी इंजन एनी वे द लेंथ ऑफ ईच कनेक्टिंग रोड ऑफ अ सिक्सटी डिग्री वी इंजन इज लेंथ ऑफ कनेक्टिंग रोड इज टू हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर द स्ट्रोक इज हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर स्ट्रोक विच इज ट्वाइस ऑफ करेंक रेडियस इज हंड्रेड that gives me r as 50 mm and if you ask me beta if you ask me n that is l by r then it will be l by r 200 by 50 that is 4 i know that it will be required the mass of reciprocating parts per cylinder is small m is 1.5 kg the crank speed is 2400 rpm find the maximum and oh sorry find the magnitude of primary and secondary forces for the position of the crank shown in figure see this blue one is crank okay so here omega you can calculate pi n that is 2400 by pi n by 30 that is 80 pi okay so this omega is 80 pi radian per second see first you need to see the engine See my dear student, that is a 60 degree V engine. Say so suppose this is as the first cylinder, this is as the second cylinder. You have the pistons of the same mass M reciprocating, the connecting rods, and then the crank. My dear student, you need to understand. See, this is your crank. Crank, crank will rotate like this. Crank can be anywhere if you do understand. Crank can be anywhere. My dear students. at this position the crank is given crank would have been here also would have been here also would have been uh, crank uh, could have been anywhere crank could have been anywhere so one of the position is given when it is uh, on the line of stroke of the first cylinder so at that position the examiner has asked me what beta the examiner has asked me the net uh, sorry magnitude of primary and secondary forces for this position now let's read one uh, let us read this question once again the length of each connecting rod of a 60 degree v engine you all can see that it is a 60 degree v engine is a 200 mm and the stroke is given you can calculate the crank radius which will be half of stroke length and mass of reciprocating parts is given and the crank speed is given find the magnitude of primary and secondary forces that's all right my dear students and that is crank its connecting rod piston cylinder that is crank crank is common connecting rod piston and cylinder okay If you ask me, beta, please, and our reference will always be in this diagram. This diagram, this will be our reference always. Please listen to me carefully. This should be our reference always. Okay, this should be our reference. Okay, now, now, my dear students, at least let's separate first this question from the. solution now if you ask me the primary and secondary unbalanced force because of the first cylinder please listen to me that that will be the net primary and secondary in this direction net primary and secondary if you ask me net primary please okay first things you can directly write m r omega square r is crank radius omega is speed and m is reciprocating mass m r omega square you can typically write it straight way but the angle you should be cautious cos theta what is theta angle made by crank from line of stroke here my dear students crank crank is on the line of stroke you may not see crank but it, uh, crank was here by the way this was the position of crank so now my dear students yes the, so here the crank is the crank is on the line of stroke so if the crank is on the line of stroke how much angle will it be making with the line of stroke zero so what you need to write beta m r omega square cos zero what about secondary beta that will be m r omega square by n cos twice of zero that will also be zero now if you have little brain you can write this 
of and you can write cos 0 is 1 nothing but m r omega square this is also 0 you can write m r omega square by n. Now if you ask me the unbalanced forces because of this this reciprocating mass of the second cylinder there the forces will be along this direction first of all and the if you ask me the primary unbalanced force please listen to me carefully. These are the primary and secondary forces because of this piston reciprocating piston or the reciprocating parts and the primary and secondary unbalanced force because of this reciprocating mass will be along this line of stroke. The first is m r omega square m r omega square cos of angle what is this angle beta please listen to me carefully angle made by crank from line of stroke. Now I am rubbing at uh, actually you, okay no need to rub you need to see it cautiously the angle made by crank from line of stroke this is the angle if you do understand that angle is 60 my dear students you need to see it the angle made by crank from line of stroke this is theta okay so here this is my position of crank this is my line of stroke from line of stroke crank is making angle 60 degree so what what angle should i write there m r omega square i need to rub this a little m r omega square m r omega square cosine of the angle made by crank from line of stroke cosine m r omega square cosine of the angle made by crank from line of stroke here crank is making angle 60 degree from the line of stroke what about second secondary it will be m r omega square m r omega square by n double of this angle what will be the double of it ang this angle beta 120 degree now you can simplify it cos 60 is 1 by 2 only okay so that is m r omega square by 2 uh, uh, that is and cos 120 i guess 60 160 that will be minus m r omega square by n minus 1 by 2 but it does not matter much you will understand. Now we have to do the uh, we will have to find out net primary and secondary so how do we do that net primary my dear students here please listen to me carefully the first primary force is m r omega square that is in this direction which is making an angle 30 degree from vertical because vertical is the reference here m r omega square m r omega square and this one is m r omega square by 2 but in what direction beta that is also making angle 30 degree with the this one is the reference here my dear students this force oh i wish we would have taken this directions with the dark line mr omega square and this one is also mr no sorry it is in magnitude this one is mr omega square this one is what beta m r omega square by 2 they are making angle 30 and 30 can you find out the resultant yes better you calculate value of m r omega square it will be easy for us actually because it will be coming again and again so value of m r omega square m is what beta 1.5 kg radius is what beta 0 0.05 because it is in millimeter na convert it into meter m r omega that is 80 pi square okay so beta 1 point uh, first 80 into pi that is square it's a great value 0 0.05 into 1.5 that's 47 47.41 newton 47 47.41 newton and the another one you going you are going to require is m r omega square by n m r omega square we already have just divide it with 4 and you will get this as 1184.35 newton now as you were trying to find out an at primary my dear students here this is m r omega square oh 
this is mr omega square and that is half of it so if you ask me the net primary force net that to primary i'm not interested in direction because the examiner has asked me magnitude it will be beta is this one square the square of this one is 4737.41 4737.41 square square plus square square of this that is by 2 that is 2368.705 but i'm neglecting that data that is a square plus b square plus 2ab 2474737.41 ab 2368 2368 2 ab cos the angle between them that is cos 60 cos 60 because here beta the angle is nothing but the you know primary unbalanced force of first cylinder will be along this line and of second is will be along this line so total angle will be 60 between them i guess you do know that if there are two say suppose that is a and that is b how do we find out their resultant the resultant will be a square plus b square square root of 2 ab cos a square plus b square plus 2 ab cos theta square root a so here mr omega square is 4737.41 a square plus b square half of it plus 2 ab 2 ab cos theta that's what i have done here now my dear students just doing it <sighs> square of it plus 47 47 Three seven point four one square. So this is coming out equal to beta. This one is coming out equal to six two six seven point zero zero. So no need to take it. Okay. You may cross check it, but I feel that it will be right. I have not, you know, solved this question on some rough or something. I just made this question and you know, thought of uh, you know uh, discussing it. Now what about secondary? Secondary. of course if you don't mind we all know that forces will be along the line of strokes you just need to know about the magnitude or else everything is something that we everything we know total angle between them will be 60 only this time also what to, what to think of it this is mr omega square by n this is minus 1 by 2 mr omega square by n this one is mr m r omega square by n this is m minus you may take it in the backward direction minus m r omega square by n by 2 oh net secondary will be beta this square plus this square plus 2 ab cos 60 so beta it will be m r omega square by n whole square plus minus of m by 2 r omega square by n minus m r omega square minus m r omega square by 2 n square plus 2 ab a is m r omega square by n b is a negative actually beta this negative we need to take okay minus m by 2 r omega square by n a square plus b square plus 2 ab into cos 60 that is 1 by 2 you can directly cancel out this with 2 and my dear students you can take out n common if you do understand n square n square n n n square it will be n and inside will be the inside terms will be m r omega square square m r omega square by 2 square minus of it will be minus m r omega square into m by 2 r omega square we now know the data if you do understand m r omega square this was m r omega square only 47 37.41 square plus 
but minus of this will be minus of 474 into 2368.7 square root of it is giving 4737 plus this one minus of m y2 square root of, and I of course divided by 4 also. So, it is coming out 1025.6 8 Newton 1025.68 Newton okay so my dear student this was the solution for this question